So the other day, when it was time to help with the dishes, I conveniently had to take my 45 minute bathroom break. And while I was sitting there on the can, I stumbled across some reels on Instagram of some woodworking hacks. So I picked five of the best ones I could find, and I'm going to try them out today and see how they work. So this first one I'm gonna try out looks like it is a corner clamp with a couple pieces of wood and an elastic band. Now in this video, it shows this guy clumsily, clumsily, I don't know if that's a word. Okay, it looks like he's being a clown and trying to get these two boards together and um, yeah, obviously he doesn't have the skills so he made a clamp. So let's try and make this and see how it works. In that video, it looked like he was using particle board. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use some half inch plywood. Three quarter inch plywood would probably be better, I imagine. Just gives a little bit more surface area up against your material. But this is what I got and this is what I'm gonna use. So I'm going to cut this into an L shape and I'm gonna do that on the table saw. So this piece I cut out, I'm going to cut it on a 45 and I think I'm going to do that on the bandsaw. I think that's the safest way. So next we need to attach this piece of wood right there. We got to leave that proud so we can wrap the elastics around it. I'm just going to use a couple 3 quarter inch screws. Okay, let's see how difficult this is. Oh, oh, I can't get it. I can't get it. All right, let's try this clamp. They take the wood and they go like this. They take an elastic. Would you look at that? Ah! You know what? I'm going to do two elastics. Let's get this in there like that. Get an elastic over that. Okay, let's do let's do a bunch. I don't have a big elastic like they use in the video, but I figured if we just triple up a bunch. Ah. I give it about a five out of ten. It kind of works. It's a little bit clumsy to get it set up, but it does hold it. It is kind of like having a third set of hands or a second, second set of hands. Would it, but I have two hands, would it be a third? No, it would be a second, yeah, a second set of hands. I honestly, I prefer using one of these clamps. You can get them on Amazon pretty cheap. I think that's where I got this one from. And um, yeah, it just works so much better. So the next one is this guy who is turning down the end of a dowel on his bandsaw. So this looks pretty simple to do. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna make my jig a little bit differently than the way the guy in the video made. Uh, mine is gonna be a little more simpler to make, I believe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a block of red oak and I'm gonna tilt my table saw blade to a 45 degree bevel and I'm just gonna channel out the middle. So this is the piece that came out of it. I just cut an end off and I'm gonna glue that right there. A little bit of Okay, a lot. Oh, don't get it in your fingers. It's gonna hold that for a few seconds. Oh shoot. Ugh. Now we need a way to clamp this to the bandsaw. And I got this scrap piece of plywood. It'll be just fine. And I'm just going to super glue it to that and not glue my fingers to it this time. Awesome. All right, now it looks like from the video that we have to run our blade into this till we're sticking out. Well, that was pretty cool. It actually worked. Now, my one problem was that um, that little block that I made for a stopper, it wasn't tall enough. So as I got near the end, it kind of jumped over it, as you guys saw, and it kind of made a little chewy mess. 
But that's an easy fix. I can just add a little block to that for next time. And uh, yeah, that worked out quite well. I'm impressed. So that is a good tip. Now I'd probably give that a 10 out of 10. That was super cool. In this next video, it looks like this guy's got these two pieces of wood that he wants to join end to end. And he does this cool little trick where he nibbles away little fingers in it. And he does it on the table saw. I have a jig like that. Yeah, I can do that. And um, yeah, he nibbles off the ends. Oh, this looks super easy to do. Uh, I might do it a little bit differently than he does it. I think I got a way to speed this method up. And then, yeah, then it looks like he uses a dowel to pin it to hold it together. It doesn't look like he uses any wood glue though. That's weird. I'd probably use some wood glue just to make sure that stays together, but his looks a little gappy. Is gappy a word? Man, I gotta really improve on my vocabulary. So my wood's two inches wide, so I think they're gonna be half inch wide fingers. An inch and a half. And then we'll do what he did. You screw this out and you go like this. Now, how I'm gonna do this differently is, I'm gonna two-face tape these together and cut them at the same time. All right, let's see if this works. Wow, okay, it's a little bit gapped there. So I gotta trim these ends off. I'm gonna do that on the miter saw, I think. I'll be right back. Nibbled a little bit off, let's see. Oh yeah, that is super cool. Now we gotta find a dowel to put in the middle there. I forgot to hit record, so here's the reenactment. So in that video, they didn't glue this at all, but I'm going to piece it back together. Man, that is a beautiful joint. A little bit of glue on the dowel. I'm really impressed that I got that on the first try. Well, not the first try, I had to trim it a little bit, but yeah, that worked really great. I was a little bit nervous that these little fingers wouldn't fit into each other, but it just worked. I don't know how. I think it might have been just a fluke that I got on the first try, who knows. And uh, the entire time I was making this, I kept thinking to myself, like, why would you need to do this anyways? Like, why couldn't you just go get a piece of wood that is long enough for what you need? But I mean, if you're in a pinch and you didn't have enough wood and you just had a bunch of scraps, I mean, you could do this. I think it'd hold up just fine. And if you're gonna be painting it anyways, you know, sand it smooth, paint it. I don't think you'll ever see that. I'll probably give that an eight out of 10 just because I think it's kind of dumb. I don't know why you need to do this, but it's cool. So the next one I have here is this guy that's trying to create like an X pattern or join four boards into each other. And where they intersect, he kind of notches them out and he pounds a dowel in. And it looks like they don't use any glue on this. So this one I'm curious to know if it's gonna work. And I'm not gonna glue this one. I wanna see if it'll stay together with just the pins in there. So let's give this one a try. So in that video, this is what they're trying to do. Join boards like this, my wood is two inches wide. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure an inch and an inch up and cut the corners out. And I think I'll stack them together and cut them all at once on the table saw. We'll see how that goes. It kind of worked. It's a little bit gapped, but that's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna put some clamps on that to hold it together and I'm gonna drill holes for all of these pins. So in that video, it looks like they drilled a hole here, 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 and here. 
So let's drill those holes out and we'll see how it works. Ha! Huh. Okay, so I double checked and I got the holes drilled in the dowels in the exact spot they're supposed to be. According to that video, it just falls apart. Two thumbs down, does not work. Well, that was about as disappointing as the time I realized Smarties don't make you smart. All right, for the last one is this guy that's creating this dovetail joint and it looks like he uses wedges to make it fit. So it almost looks like it's a mortise and tenon joint, but you put little wedges in and you pound it in and it stays. So this looks interesting. I'm not so sure this is gonna work. I think it's gonna actually split my wood, but there's only one way to find out. So let's give this a try. This is the block of wood I'm gonna use. Now I don't have the skills to like chisel out a nice dovetail joint in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, on the bandsaw, cut out the back and then I'll cut out a dovetail slot and then I'll glue the two pieces back together. So now we just gotta mark out something that's gonna work. And we'll cut all that out. But let's first rip it and then we'll Notch that out on the bandsaw. So. All right, we'll glue this back together. My tips are all clogged now. So I just have to pour it out. And we'll glue that back together as best as we can. Pressure on it. All right, now we gotta cut a piece of wood for here. Okay, it's a little bit sloppy, but we'll see what happens. Now, I didn't go all the way to the end. I just stopped shy like the video did. So now we gotta cut some wedges to fit in here. And I think what I need to do is cut wedges that match the shape of here. And it looks like it's gotta be three eighths by say two and three quarters. All right, let's give this a go. And we're just gonna start by putting our wedges in like that. Okay. I think I need to make bigger wedges. But I have the right idea. Two new wedges, and see if this works. Oh, look at this. We got a crack right here. <laughs> well, it kind of turned out the way I was expecting it to. I mean, maybe with the right skill, it probably would have worked out just fine. But, oh, I just noticed I glued this together wrong. Well, I'm pretty sure that had nothing to do with it. Maybe if I had glued this completely solid and clamped it and let it dry for the allowed time, it probably would have held up fine. Um, there is cracks going up in here, which I was kind of expecting. Yeah, it's plausible. It could work. But yeah, like I said, with the right skill set that I don't really have, it would be just fine. Like if this was inside a pocket where you couldn't see the gaps and stuff that are in here, like that is, that is sturdy. Like I can't pull that out and it's not rocking at all. Yeah, five out of 10, I guess. So overall, four out of 10 worked. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the one that failed, I kind of was expecting it to fail. I didn't really have high hopes for that one just because when I saw the video, I was like, that looks like it would still fall apart which it did. But anyways, yeah, this video was a lot of fun to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it entertaining. And um, yeah, like always, we'll see you guys in the next one.